Rashford doesn't have a hat trick in his entire career man. He's this guy is just scoring hat tricks for fun. More assists than Anthony. Come see, react. Both Brazilians that don't start for Brazil, nothing to talk about. Before every derby like oh United look at the physicality, they're amazing. I'm like sure bro, I know exactly he just fucks with you. He... Haaland 2-1. <laughs> Do I can't believe that was a actual debate man like that was the funniest debate of all times and I think Darwin Nunez won the community shield debate <laughs> yeah But, I think that's when Liverpool fans got super excited and said okay this is where I think in the same community shield matches when Haaland missed his sitter and Nunez mm, scored exactly. with his head something and he never and looked are, back bro yeah and he smiled <laughs> I think he smiled and should, he never looked back I think we should pull out I think we should pull out those tweets from Liverpool fans more often like they were shitting on Haaland like we got the better play <laughs> Yeah. Nah, they obviously uh, they were going to this maniac yeah. robot uh, I don't know AI generated <laughs> freak I, who's I, made I, football <laughs> insanely boring FPL insanely boring everything boring yeah, I thought that. AI would take over human jobs but like by 2030 or 35 I'm sure like, I'm not sure I'm going to confirm uh, this is this is true I, uh-huh. I was reading that Liverpool actually didn't want to buy Nunez Mark, like Michael Edwards didn't want Nunez at the club because he didn't necessarily offer for what like challenge, for Mourinho challenge to challenge to Wamsi to absolutely digress when we've moved on to topic <laughs> <laughs> absolute challenge in we'll any podcast we've Haaland, ever done what is there to talk about Haaland tell me <laughs> exactly. what is there to talk about this guy no, moving I think, on I think Okay, I'll I'll just address that one thing, I guess. Yeah. Yes, he, he yeah. was not a he was not a clock. He was not a Edwards. But I think by the time uh, we bought Nunes, uh, I think Edwards Edwards left the backroom staff and all of that. Uh, yeah. So I think it he was more of a clock guy, and I think that's maybe they were having a lot of differences, clock and uh, and the coaching staff with the backroom staff. So I think that's why they left. Even Nunes, I mean, sorry, Edwards and his uh, his replacement as well, he left as well. So. it's it's right. all on club uh, and i think it's it's not it, it doesn't suit the way liverpool wants to play moving on uh, haaland already had nine goals higher than chelsea liverpool brentford brighton spurs arsenal bournemouth leicester and man united he's three or four goals away from everton's whole goal tally from two years from the two. whole of two years the yeah. two years that he's been in city and in 213 appearance gabriel jesus had 73 goals in 70 appearance erling haaland has 72 goals It's almost gonna take him over. Name a bigger upgrade of an upgrade. I can't. Wait, how can you name bigger upgrades than for AI, man? I mean, AI is the best upgrade you can get yeah. for anything. <laughs> There is no. Oh my God! I mean, if you look yeah. at it, like he was, he was missed. He, he missed out on that hat trick of hat tricks, right? Yeah, just yeah, by he a missed point. out on. Yeah. Can you imagine he's, he he has done that. I mean, the the word hat trick. I mean, Rashford doesn't have a hat trick in his entire career. He's this guy is just scoring hat tricks for fun. Uh, And, and how do you how do you even compete with this level of scoring or insanity? There is nothing else to be said. You know, this point man. Yeah, uses weight, uses weight for uh, the one one five to come. That's all you can do. I mean, I was yep. saying that I need Haaland to go to Madrid. I need all good players to go to Madrid because we don't care. We don't care. Just collect all of the good players and leave Premier League alone because this is unreal, dude. I'm. I haven't seen anything like this. Come see, have you seen anything like this ever in sport? Dude, the poster went up, bro. He plays for my arch rival, but I've seen him week in week. It's just unreal. I can't believe fucking Ole made this boy of all. Like he found him, started him at Molde. Fucking, I'm not gonna drop f bombs, but it's just annoying as hell that a United. Ex United player, ex United coach was so heavily involved with a player like this, and he comes to Manchester just the wrong side. So, yeah, I feel like I've seen too much of him now. Like it, it's just annoying how many goals he scores. He just seems inevitable in every game. Teams have no. It's been three seasons, right, that he's been around. Teams have no. Teams haven't figured out a way to stop this guy, and that Relax. says a lot. Saliba and Gabriel zero xG last whole year. Relax, calm. We have we yeah, have one game. If only. If only if only City played Arsenal every game, then he would have zero goals, and he yeah. would have zero goals too. <laughs> uh, I yeah, think you said you're saying this is a moment of yeah Bringing moment Chelsea of self this? yeah moment of self troll, but like we need to find out the guy who decided like 115 million for Lukaku, 150 million for. <laughs> Alan, no, no, no. We can't spend that. We can't do that. I mean, was he for one fifty million? Yep. At that time, he was being quoted for one fifty million. It was the previous ownership at Chelsea, and they were like, "Nah, we have a better idea. We'll get Lukaku 
for a couple of months of being here. I think this is where I regret not having Bali and Akbali a bit earlier at Chelsea because they would have landed this guy for sure. I mean, he he's the only also. Time I feel like I feel like Haaland and Alfie Haaland they had a clear idea of uh, where they wanted to go. Like they had a whole plan structure. They they knew they wouldn't have gone to a team with a new ownership or like they were going to an established team. Like, no, like, but that, at that, that time Chelsea had an established like at that time we had. It was our previous regime, and he was open But to the move. But you said you were Bolly and Akbali would have yeah. gotten him. Yeah, good, good, good. good. What before Dortmund? Yeah. No way. Dortmund was signing all these like raw gems from like random ass places. Like hey, even Bellingham, they were like he knew where he wanted to go to. So also, I think um, like Vamsi okay. uh, was saying about Ole. I think Ole and Lemsi both they had great talent. I think because both of these guys. Wanted even by Sado for five million at Chelsea and United respectively, and then the club had actually decided we want one. So I think letting Ole go was a big mistake for United. They were pretty stable under him. He was way better than Ten Hag. Yeah, and what followed after with that whole Ragnik uh, situation was just yeah, that was just not yeah, that important. All right, moving on. Edison has now provided more assists than Anthony. Vamsi, react. <laughs> Both Brazilians that don't start for Brazil, nothing to talk about. <laughs> Zero things to talk about. But Zero Edison has about. Edison has like been you know there like he, he is long balls and I I was seeing a compilation of how many Haaland or any striker who played with Edison has missed. He could have had more assists. He could have had like ten twelve assists in the Premier League, which is a little nuts, right? Uh, on top of that, he takes free kicks also. This is the embodiment of the modern goalkeeper. Token, uh, sorry, not free kicks, penalties. Um, I remember him taking the penalty against Real Madrid, and he he does take pens, right? Uh, and he's pretty yeah. good at it also. The Pep Guardiola said that he's the best um, uh, penalty taker at City. So um, I, I think uh, I, I'd go to Arham. Do you do you want a proper uh, ball playing? Uh, I know Sanchez. Just, this is the wrong week to say this because he actually saved a pen. But do you want? Because I, th- I feel like all our teams have proper ball. Playing uh, goalkeeper, but you don't. Yep, I think they bought Jorgensen for the same purpose. But like they had already made a bad purchase in the form of Robert Sanchez, and to keep his market value intact, they need to play him, start him in at least one of the competitions. So he would be the number one starter. But I think Philip Jorgensen has like very good distribution, and then they have also bought uh, Pender for the future. He's also very good with his feet and also quite tall, like Tibo reminds of him. But yeah, I would die to have one of Ederson or Ellison at Chelsea right now. Like, not even a question. And I was going to say about Ederson, like this is just the assist because the assist is not like counted as a big part of metric. But I think if we look into that, he might have a lot of those when he just played the ball and did one pass, one touch pass to the forward and took the goal. There would be pretty much of those as well. So top top guys like. Who wouldn't want them I in love their how part. you guys are starting players uh, on to keep market values. Like it's Chelsea is a financial institution. Is the in the future you got to compete with uh, like, uh, Ernst and, uh, and Deloitte? Yeah, that's, Chelsea. That's the that's the truth of modern day football. What can we say? Yeah. Okay, sure. I wish okay. he went to uh, Saudi. I can't believe that's where the season started with City losing Edison to Saudi. Uh, another Baldy has been talking a lot. Uh, this Baldy talks uh, more often, more often like insights other teams. Uh, he plays mind games because his mind is so big, his brain is so big. So Baldy said. Uh, All the Premier League teams want us to be sanctioned. Uh, Pep Guardiola says that Man City's rival want to see the club punished for alleged uh, breaches of Premier League financial fair play rules. Let's talk about this first. I mean, um, what do you think is going to happen? Is is it happening? It's not happening. Anything that you've read? No, but to to Pep Guardiola's point, why would why wouldn't Premier League teams want them to be sanctioned if they're proven guilty? It's it's not like if if they're not proven guilty, we want them to be sanctioned or done anything. And and given Premier League's or City's previous Uh, squabbles with with law and in legalities and all of that. I think the last two times they've got away with it. I mean, they, I don't. I know it was basically for lack of evidence or for statute of limitations or whatever. They got away with it. And given how recently Premier League also kind of did not, what do you call? Um, I think Leicester City and Everton they also got the sentences reduced with the profit and sustainability rules. So given how that's going, and given the legal strength, legal strength which which Man City has, the lawyers and all of that, I mean, I think there will be probably some points deduction at best in terms of sanctioning. But 
I don't think there will be wholesale changes because the fact if like in this season again City will be winning the league most probably. So if if Premier League is going to sanction their seven times champion out of the last eight seasons, it's a very bad look for them. I think it will be a slap on the wrist and then say okay, don't do this again. They will do it again. They will uh, they will find a new innovative ways like Chelsea does. But yeah, they'll do it again. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm okay, not the uh, only one making everything about Chelsea. Okay? At least we have other people doing that too. <laughs> Uh, Bumsy, why does Baldy talk so much? I feel like he, whenever he wants to intimidate some other team or something, he'll just go on and praise them and then slap them five nil. Why? Is, oh, dude, why, why is I've, it... dude, I've seen this like too many times. Before every derby, like, oh, United, look at the physicality, they're amazing. I'm like, sure, bro, I know exactly. He just fucks with you. He, I feel like Pep Guardiola at this point is just playing with the media. Like, he knows how to handle them inside out. You don't know if it's sarcasm. You don't know if he's like actually meaning it. He doesn't really talk about his players that much. Like, what happened to Calvin Phillips? Like, he signed so many good players, doesn't start them. But he doesn't go there. He's just like playing mind games with the media and send them on these goose chases. And then we are talking about it here. <laughs> <laughs> Abhinav, do you remember when last season he, like, uh, in the end of it, he started crying, saying that Klopp, we're going to miss Klopp. <laughs> <Like>. <laughs> No, I think oh he was God. doing that for Aguero as well. So all of these are crocodile tears, yeah. man. I think he, he does he does that for he did that for Aguero. He, he's he's very performative. Like he he does. I mean, I thought some of those things that he does, like coaching players right after uh, right after winning five zero or talking to the Southampton game. What's his name? Um, I think it's it's it's. Um, uh, he was talking to a Southampton. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It. Yeah, and then some someone, someone. No, someone I think like yeah, that. he was talking to some Southam- Southampton great coaching him. Like, why the fuck do you want to coach him? Like, I mean, so, so I thought He's all of these were like nine years old in Southampton. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Coach, <laughs> yeah. So I thought all of these were some of these were very genuine from him. Like, you know, I thought so. But this guy just performs for cameras. He does all of these things for just sake of so that you know he gets his points you across. When, when someone asked him about uh, Haaland and how like Haaland is so good and all that, uh, mm-hmm. are you you know jealous of Haaland some shit like that? He said, Yeah, I am jealous of Haaland. I want to make everything <laughs> about me. Everything about me. And like, actually, my team. You, my exactly. ego. <laughs> no, you. And the thing is, he wants to come off as sarcastic, and he wants everyone to kind of see the sarcasm. But there is a tinge of truth to it, which he, which is not coming out as such. <laughs> but anyway, no, I, yeah, I, but I don't like know. It's like the perfect balance of sarcasm and reality. Like you can either keep it, or you you can't say anything about it, but you mm-hmm. have to hear it also. He he get, he yeah. satisfies his own. I love mm-hmm. it. He's too smart. But the best thing was, we cannot replace Aguero. Goes on to buy Haaland. <laughs> <laughs> he waited for one goddamn season. Can't replace Aguero. Can't replace. Won the league that season and then goes on to buy Haaland. Yeah. So let's not say Gabriel Jesus was the replacement, please. He was. A, he's a winger. Let's not. Let's not shit on Gabby, man. Come on. Wait, wait. What, one thing I didn't get was Liverpool need more than ninety minutes to win the game. What does that mean? I don't know, bro. <laughs> what, what does that even I, mean? I thought you'll catch. <laughs> I don't. I thought you'll catch on to that. Like, wait. Uh, uh, is he saying that we are a cup team? Like, we just only win on penalties or some bullshit like that, or what? I mean, Do which Chelsea should go know. Inside his deep brain, you have to go inside <laughs> his brain to understand what he said, why he said. Can't. It's impossible. <laughs> Okay. It is high IQ thinking. We, we are not there. <laughs> I'll present I didn't hear that. Have enough? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. The, the last three cups or anything we won were against Chelsea, and again that was an extra time. So I I can't even yeah. count on my fingers the amount of cup finals we have lost in the last over three years. <laughs> but but this dude tried tried jinxing it before the UCL final against us as well. Like he was so hard. interviews. Yeah. Big guy, bro. Big guy. Too much influence he has.